You know, I love hearing the stories about people who have decided to live their life on purpose and the difference it can make. Hey, welcome back. We're, we're talking about relationships and we're talking about belonging and having a place to belong. You belong first to God. You, you belong to God. We belong in God's family. And what we want to talk about today is belonging to a purpose. You know, there is a purpose for your life and you belong to that purpose. God has this incredible plan that he designed for you because we're here not just to make a life, but we're really here to make a difference. Listen what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter two. God has made us who we are or what we are in Christ Jesus. God made us to do good works, which God planned in advance for us to live our lives doing. Think about that. God planned for you to do something with your life. That's your purpose. That's your mission. When you and when I do what we're created to do, then we're belonging in our purpose. That's an amazing thing. You have a reason for your life. That reason is your purpose. And when I live out my purpose, my life now begins to add value to somebody else's life. When I do what I'm created to do, it isn't about me. It really becomes about how God wants to use my obedience. God wants to use my gifts and my talents, my story, my life to really bring hope and encouragement to somebody else's life. Because everybody, listen, everybody needs a friend to their destiny. We all have a destiny. It can be um, a good destiny or it can be a not so good destiny. And our relationships matter. And when I'm living out my destiny or when I'm living out my calling, I'm helping somebody with their destiny and I become a friend to their destiny. That's true for you as well. When you live out your calling and you live out your mission, you become a friend to somebody else's destiny. Listen to what the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter four. It says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, for if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. What a powerful thought that when we live out our destiny in relationship with God, in relationship with others, we begin to fulfill this purpose and we begin to support one another. There are people waiting on the other side of your obedience. There are people waiting on you and I to do what God created us to do. And I wanna encourage you, find the faith, take the risk to discover what God has for you. Look for the relationships God wants you to invest into. I want you to notice that when you and I live out our destiny and we're living in purpose, all of a sudden our lives are gonna become more rewarding. It says two are better than one. In fact, I can accomplish so much more in life when I partner with other people with their gifts, talents, and abilities. That's what makes our church family the place that it is. People working together for common good, using their gifts and talents to benefit so many other people. And then it helps us, here's the second thing it does, it helps us to enjoy life more. When I live in my purpose, it brings satisfaction to my soul, more so than anything else that you, more so than fame, more so than wealth, there, there are things in life that can be comforting and pleasing, but nothing will satisfy your life and bring more meaning to your life than living out your purpose. It brings fulfillment. And it says, woe to those who are alone when they fall. What does that mean? It means we help other people be successful. When I live according to my purpose and you live according to your purpose, you help other people get back up again in life. You help people overcome in life. And we all need people who will be friends to our destiny. I really wanna encourage you. Someone is waiting on the other side of your obedience. You belong to God, you belong in God's family, and you belong to a purpose. You know, I wanna pray for you because in my mind, I'm imagining what's going to happen in somebody else's life when you become a friend to their destiny by stepping into your purpose. So Father, I thank you for my friends. I thank you for their walk and their journey in this teaching. I thank you that they're gonna find their place in you. They're gonna find their place in your family. 
and they're going to find their place in their purpose and step out in faith and begin to make the difference in the world and make a world of difference in somebody else's life that you've called them to. In Jesus' name, amen.